to week 12 and it's the late kickoff between Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Asante Kotoko and to the NSA, all the security personnel here making sure that people are observing the COVID protocols. You can see the social distance and also a lot of people in masks as well and it's nice to see really is. So it's the Porcupine Warriors against the 11 is to 1 Inter Allies here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Emmanuel Jemphi returns to the lineup to replace Augustine Okra and takes the captain's armband from this man, Ganyu Ismail, regarded as one of the best central defenders currently on the local scene. Richmond Lamte returns to the squad for Inter Allies and Paul Abanga is captaining the team in the absence of Ashmin Musa. The last time Richmond Lamte scored here, it was against Hatsabok and Allies recorded victory, one of only two victories for them in the Premier League so far. Yeah, I bet he would never score a better goal than that. That is again another game, another test for them. They, they are not looking good, Allies. Not playing particularly well and they are not scoring goals. I mean, we are into game with 12. The students about Adebayo leaving, they cannot hold anymore because they've had so long to prepare without him. Surely it's going to affect them, but they have to find answers from somewhere. The players have to step up. But for Kotoko as well, they, they are not scoring. They've not scored in their last two games. Here's another test for them. A home fixture. What would they produce? Johnson Smith has made four changes to the team that drew in Oboase. Mubarak Yusuf drops to the bench for Wahab Adams. Mudasiru drops to the bench for Latif Anabila. Then Nabi Keita replaces Imanon Nete as Santi Kotoko's coach. Has also brought in Jemfi for Augustine Okra. An interesting lineup. Nete not in the squad. That's rare in the season's campaign. Yeah, it really is for Johnson Smith. Looks like a 4 2 2. But I expect that to switch with Gamma moving into the midfield areas. Inter allies as many as five changes to the team that lost to Legon City's goalkeeper Rashid Seydou loses his place to Gideon Ayinkra. Then there's a place for Paul Abanga who replaces Emmanuel Ajete. Coach Muchkanovic also brings in Hill to win. They've lost four on the bounce, looking for a breather to lift themselves from the bottom of the league log against a Kotoko team who seem to be growing in confidence before that defeat to Adriana Stars. Yeah. So allies kept the early pressure with Kingsley Bryce cross just going over the top. This time playing on the far right instead of playing through the middle Kingsley Bryce. You know, it was a poor crossing. I thought he had enough time and space to try and whip it into the box and ask questions of that critical back line, but it was a poor ball in the end. Fabio Gama, the most creative of Kotoko's players up front, tried to put one two for Kwame Poku, but that was some intelligent defending from the Nigerian Issa Ali. Yeah. Trying to play the ball through the channels there for Kwame Poku. He didn't give up on the chase, Kwame Poku. But Issa Ali saw it all the way, did well to, you know, just cushion that header into the path of the goalkeeper. And again, Richard Aqua. Difficult to score from that spot. Tried his luck from that distance. Yeah, not sure <laughs> what, what technique again he was trying to apply there, but whatever it was, it didn't work. Poor decision uh, again from him, but as a right back, you expect that. Fabio Gamma's cross took a deflection, and Kwame Poku was a shed late. Fadi Brahim right at the spot to stop Jeffrey's cross back in. Yeah, I thought. Allies could have done better to stop the cross from coming, but credit to Gama, he, he puts in the ball into a very, very dangerous spot. Nobody getting close to really enough to cause the problem, but it really was a good ball. Gokipa wasn't going to reach it. Immoral's corner, and Fabio Gama, he took so much time for Kirsty Bryant to get the ball away. And that delivery from Ganyu, always flying high. Yeah, Gama. Uh, it's, it's another good ball from Imoro as he's done throughout the game. But once the ball it takes that touch, the ball is not getting down in time. And Brian does well to come back to get something on it to clear it away, uh, clear the danger from and stopping Gama from scoring his first goal in the Ghana Premier League. So Wednesday night action between Inter Allies and Asante Kodoko has ended goalless at half time here. 
at the Accra Sports Stadium. You know, after that, barring first half, Allies came believing in the second half they could pose a lot of problems for Asante Kotoko, and they began so well with this ball nearly getting to Taufik, but well defended by Wahab Adams. Yeah, as he did all night. Fabio Gama, here he should have gone down. You have a feeling that once he felt that contact, he should but, have, or once know, he stayed on his feet, then the referee wasn't going to make a try. But credit to him. That's what we expect of all footballers. Was it a good call? If it can stand. I think it was a good call. It was a good call. Immoral with that uncharacteristic right-footed drive. Yeah. He just, I ain't crowd working. Yeah, did well here, cutting inside and running, you know, at the defense here. One lovely one-two there by Kwam Poku. I'm not sure he meant for the one-two, but when it fell back to him, just drove that one with a weaker foot. Look, if I made a good save of it. And Sarkodie decided to go for a killer, but to the near post instead of going for the top. Yeah. Hand right corner. Ball got to him quicker than he would have loved. So Issa Ali makes a mistake. Poku pounces on it. He has no option than to bring Poku down. And referee Riley whistles for a spot kick. Kotoko have a penalty. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to play the ball, but doesn't play the ball and catch, catches the man. But that is Kwame Poku's own, own work. Once he realizes that it's the chase, he doesn't give up on the chase. Those full strength. And Nabi Keita makes no mistake, sends the goalkeeper the wrong direction, and cut a call. Up by one. Yeah, Nabi Keita, pick the spots, send the goalkeeper the wrong way, and then finish it emphatically. There you say. There was no doubt about it. No doubt about this. Run up to the strike. Finished it brilliantly for Kotoko's only goal of the night to send them third onto the league. Asante Kotoko steps onto third. They are in Anyanasi for Karela. And in Thailand, we welcome Dwarfs here at the Accra Stadium. It's full time at the Accra Sports Stadium. Kotoko won. Inter Allies nil. How do you describe that one? Oh, really hard one. Really hard one. I feel really that. I'm proud of my, my players, you know, they went out and they really, uh, they gave their whole, whole heart out there, they, they died with their boots on. For me, like, we didn't have the ball too much today, but we knew that we were going for the transitions today, so for me, they kept discipline. We were strong defensively. We played well at that part. We could, we could be a little bit better on our offensive transitions, you know, but still I feel like before, I don't know if there is a penalty or not, but that's the first mistake we made where we not go up and defend the first ball, you know? Mm. So that's like after 65 minutes, we make the first big mistake. And for me, the big change they have, that's like one minute uh, in overtime, you know? So I can only say, I feel my guys did everything they could today and they just deserved better, but what can I say? Offensive-wise, there's still a lot more lacking. How long will it take you to correct that thing and get the goals coming in for your side? Uh, hard to say. I don't know. We are working on it every week. You know, we are trying. I cannot say that my players are not doing their best. They are really doing. Uh, sometimes it's about confidence. Sometimes about equality. We can only do one thing, and that's trying to perform at the training, repeating the things and trying to do more than we can, you know? And I cannot put anything on my guys' performance. They are doing their best. Bottom of the table, what does that mean to you and, and the team going forward? Well, it means that just, we just have to try to do in, the same we have been doing for the last weeks, you know. It doesn't change anything, hopefully not. I don't, I don't hope that the gap is going to be bigger than it was today. Uh, but no matter what, we can only do one thing, that's trying to go out and win the next game. All the best with that. Thank you very much. Coach, a fantastic win there. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Now, um, what did you make of that performance today, your uh, players? Uh, I told you about the boys' uh, their hard working and mm. their development. Mm. Because uh, we decided to win this whole match because uh, people are winning their whole matches. <laughs> uh, so we have to win this match so that we can go to the... Uh, our next match will be away. Uh, then we prepare to away match. Mm. It means that confidence uh, has been boosted in the team. And what does that mean for the team on a whole and, and going forward? Ah, okay. It's all about psyching. 
Yeah. Uh, because I'm an old footballer. Yeah. So I always I psych them. Uh, I, I tell them about uh, the, uh, the player's behavior. Mm. Uh, so they have to go away from it. Uh, so they are going out from their, their bad behaviors and other things. Because that's your job. Uh, you have to work and get some money, big money somewhere. Mm. Uh, Does this team look like a team that can win the Ghana Premier League? Oh, we can win it. Mm. We can win it. Yeah. All right. All the best. Thank you.